Okay, now you've gotten your first trick pull up. Congratulations. All right. Whew. To go, <laughs> one thing I talked to a guy, um, talking to Rod on it about strict handstand push ups. And he's like, I can, do, I can do one, but I can't do two. It's too hard. I just keep trying, I can't do it. Two reps is 100% harder than one rep, right? So you don't, you don't want to try to get better by getting 100% better at the same time. You get better incrementally. So it doesn't mean you're going to go necessarily directly from one pull-up to two pull-ups, right? It might mean you do two pull-ups in one day, right? Or three pull-ups in one day. So what I usually like to do is start with some sort of like EMOM-based thing. So maybe you can do one pull-up every two minutes for five sets or 10 sets maybe, right? So great, you just got 10 strict pull-ups that you never got before. Somewhere in that time frame, you're gonna to start to decrease the rest period, right? So instead of every two minutes, maybe you do it every 90 seconds or every one minute. And then at some point, as you decrease that rest more and more, you can start to add on that second pull-up. So maybe you start doing one pull-up every two minutes for five sets, Right? And, and you add on a pull-up, pull-up, and then maybe you get to one pull-up every 90 seconds for like 10 sets, and then maybe you can do two pull-ups every two minutes, right? and then two pull-ups every 90 seconds, and you start to build up and add from there. Does that make sense? It's a great way to do it. Um, what we'll do too is like if you're trying to work muscle-ups, uh, great to be working dips along the same time, of a body pull, push, which is working towards the muscle-up, so sometimes when people are working towards that strict muscle up, I'll program like uh, an alternating EMOM, like one minute, one pull up, one minute, one dip, or, or more reps, alternating those. Um, yeah, so as I said, two is 100% more than one. Uh, EMOMs, yeah, and then starting to link them up. Yeah, once you get from one, you get to two. Once you can start to like do five or 10 strict pull ups in a row, then that's the time to start thinking about adding weighted pull-ups, right? So again, break down, you'll, you can hold the dumbbell between the feet, or we have the belts where you hold the chain between your legs, and you start adding weight, that's how you progress it there. Cute? It's a journey, it's not a destination.